Hi guys, it's Hannah Beth. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a makeup video that is a get ready with me. I'm getting ready for a job interview and I did this makeup earlier to be honest and then I was like wow I really like this eye look so I figured I would just share it with you guys. So I hope you don't mind I'm sharing my makeup look with you. I really like it. It's going to be a little bit longer because I just wanted it to be like way more personal. So I hope that you guys really like this video and without further ado let's get into it okay so the first thing that I did was put on my moisturizer and now I'm gonna go in straight with the concealer if you've been following me this is something different that I've done usually I put on the foundation and then the concealer with this Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour concealer and then this Born This Way foundation I found that they are a lot better together when this one is first and then I use this one second I've never used that with another pair but I really like it with this so I bet it would work with other ones as well Okay, now I'm going to let that dry just a little bit, and then I'm going to go in with this Born This Way foundation. My shade is Ivory. Honestly, I should go one shade darker. It's a little too light for me, but I really like this foundation in general. By the way, I am still sick. Okay, now if I want full coverage, I usually go back with just a little bit concealer on top of that foundation. I know that sounds like a lot, but these two blend so well and it's kind of medium cut it's kind of medium coverage as it is. So when I add some more then it just creates a full coverage look, which I really like. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit more concealer underneath my eyes and then call it good. Okay, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And I'm going to bake with this stuff. Again, I swear by this stuff. I really, really like it. Okay, I'm going to let that bake for a little bit while I do my eyebrows. And of course, just like the other videos, I use this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pin. Again, we do eyebrows, remembering that they are sisters, not once my eyebrows are done, I'm going to wipe off all of the powder on my face and then go on with the eyes. Okay, now for my eyes, of course, as always, I'm going to go in with this Urban Decay Eye Primer and I am going to prime my eyes. Then I let that dry just a little bit and then I'm going to use this palette for the rest of my look. If you have not got this palette yet, bleh, bleh. If you have not gotten this palette yet, go to ballantaylor.com if she still has them in stock and get yourself these palettes. First, I'm just going to go in with this white color here and I'm going to put it all over just as a base. From here on out, I think I'm not going to fast forward through everything and I'm just going to leave this footage because I just want to talk to y'all, you know? It's a get ready with me so I feel like it should be pretty comfortable and personal. I want to make this video a lot more personal. Okay. After that, I'm going to go in with this orange color as well as this dark orange color. If you watched my fall video, this is going to be like kind of like that same look, but it's going to be pretty different at the same time. So bear with me, it's going to be different. I really like the way that this look turned out earlier when I did this, so hopefully we can recreate it. But uh, I'm going to take this orange and then this little darker tannish orangish. Um, and I'm just going to put it like all over, not only the crease of my eye, but just like the top part of my eye in general, and just really blend that out right now. So I always start with the crease, start very lightly, and then just start shading back and forth. I start especially with the outside of my eye, and then work on the end, and then work back out. Definitely don't go all the way up to your eyebrows. It's okay if it's a little bit messy because we'll clean it up with the other eyeshadows. Really like kind of nervous for this job interview today, but like then again not really. Like I just like talking to people so and answering questions about myself to be honest. So that's what I like about job interviews. The only thing I don't like is the awkwardness. And so Hopefully it won't be like super awkward. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the tan color. Um, probably like this one and this one at the same time. And I'm going to put that into the crease and also blend it on the outside of my eye. That way we start blending in the darker colors. 
I make sure to do it really slowly. Like I could probably go from this to black and maybe get kind of the same look, but I don't think it would be blended as well, nor do I think it would be as pretty. Like what I liked about this look was that there were so many different colors to it and different shades and stuff that, I don't know, I just really liked it. Like I said, I liked it so much that I went back and took it all off just to show it to you guys. Okay, now the next thing I'm going to do, this is a matte palette, so I'm going to try to find a silvery color, which I have this palette. I don't know why I said I'm going to try to find it when I literally had it right here, but um, this is a palette that my mom gave me kind of a while ago, and it's called Blizzard, and I don't even like... I don't know. I just think it's really cool. I do like fun colors with it. If you saw the video I did with Megan, these were like the with the pink and purple like crazy looks. This is what I used for that. And I really like it. These colors are super, super pigmented. I don't know if you can see that like just a little bit. Um, here's the pink. Like it's kind of crazy to be honest. And the green. I really like this palette. Um, so I use this one the most because it really shows super well. And it's just kind of like a white, silvery sort of color. So I'm going to use that, and I'm just going to put it on the top part of my eye. Like kind of where you would put eyeliner, as well as the inner corner of my eye. And I'm not going to go all the way to the edge either, just so you know. Like honestly, just look at, I barely even like have done any of it and then it's just still so pigmented. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go back in with like the tan colors and kind of just blend it around because as pigmented as this is and as much as I like it, I also kind of want it to look natural because I don't want makeup for a job interview to be like distracting, if that makes sense. Like I just want it to go and go with the flow and like look pretty. So I'm going to go back in with the tan and just kind of blend it all out on the top and stuff and just make sure that that part is really defined. From there, I'm going to go in with the white again, the matte white, not the silvery white, and I'm going to put it over the silver white and kind of just like over the top of my eyelid and in over wherever I put the white. This kind of just, like I said, just kind of mellows it out just a little bit. I like that. Works good for me. Okay, now we're going to go in with the darker colors. I'm going to put in this black color. We're going in with the black. I'm going in with the black color, and I'm just going to be very soft and very slow with it. And I'm going to start on the outside of my eye, and I'm going to slowly just blend it in. into the crease. Like I said, I'm going to start on the outside and put it into the crease, but I'm not going to go all the way into the inner corner of my eye. I kind of just like stop here in the middle, and then I'll go back and like better blend that later. Now I'm going to go back in with the tan and the orange like at the same time. I'm just going to kind of blend this little part where I stopped it in the middle. That way it is not gross and distracting with how unblended it is. Seriously, blending is so key. I don't know if y'all have Ipsy, but I get Ipsy, so I got this brush. It's called Lodi London? I don't know. I really like this brush. It's pretty thin, and I don't know. I just I think it's pretty nice. So I'm going to put that into the black, and I'm going to put it underneath my eye. I don't want the under eye to be too, too dramatic and crazy, but just enough really there just like that and then I'm going to blend that up into the crease or up into the outer corner and blend that through I don't know what I'm gonna do after my job interview I have like chores and stuff to do and I also got to work on my eight week plan. If you guys don't know what the eight week plan is, follow me on Instagram. I'm starting this new health and fitness challenge and basically I'm going to do it with myself, but I'm including everybody that wants to be included. 
completely free. I'm very excited about it. So if you want to be a part of it, like I said, go to my Instagram and then comment your email. And um, that's basically how you can be a part of it. Like it's super easy and like I said, it's free. So there's not really any reason to not. And I think it'll be a good step into the direction that you want to go possibly um, towards your health and fitness lifestyle. So yeah. Okay. So next, I am done with my eyes. I like this so much. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with this, but I think it's really pretty. And I'm going to um, put on my mascara right now. As always, I use my Perversion Mascara from Urban Decay. Like, this stuff is the best. There's no, there's no other that is better than this. This stuff, I always take so long to put on mascara because I just like take my time. You know? Like, my lashes are so long that I just want to accentuate them. I don't even know if that was the right word to use in that context, but... I'm going to do the bottom of my eye. Uh, I read one time from the person that does uh, the Kardashians makeup. He, said, he always said, like, don't be afraid of the brush touching the bottom of your eye. Obviously, don't, like, rub the black on the bottom of your eye, but... I do like the look that it gives of not being afraid of that. Alright, I'm done with my eyes. I am now going to go on to my skin. Uh, I'm just going to wipe off. Where's my brush? I'm just going to wipe off like any excess eyeshadow that I had on my face. And then next I'm going to go in with my $5 bronzer. It's just from CoverGirl, CoverGirl Queen Collection Light Bronze. So all I'm going to do to start out with is I'm just going to put like a little base on it. I'm going to start it like where I would put a contour. That way if I have too much on my brush that... I can kind of just like blend it and it would look like I did it on purpose anyway. Um, and then I kind of just blend it around. It's just like a little base. We could go in with the preciseness in a little bit. And then I start with the jawline and I start just really trying to show that and darken it. That way it looks like I have like a super strong jawline, you know. And then go down to my neck because since I bronze my face up, my neck doesn't match because, hey, it's winter time and hey, I'm a polar bear. Now I'm going to go back in with the same brush. Usually I use a smaller brush, but I can't find it right now. So I'm going in with the same brush and I'm just really darkening my contour. Man, I really like this bronzer. It just seems so like natural and pretty. Okay, so I'm going to call that good with my contour. Next I'm going to go in with my highlight. So what I first start out with is this $5 again with the $5 thing. Um, I found this like blush thing that um, like I said in my last videos if you've watched them it's not even like a blush it's like a better highlight than it is a blush it's just like sparkles. I'm gonna use this highlight brush that I have that I don't even use for my actual highlight I just use it for this because it's so powdery and I'm just going to lightly put that on the top of my cheekbones for like a little highlight base. Okay, so once I do that, now I'm going to go in with my actual highlight. Use my Urban Decay highlight. It's called Sin. And I really, really like this. Um, I didn't like it at first because I was using my highlight brush at first, like to put it on. And now I use my fingers and that is what has made the world of a difference. It's just using my fingers instead of the highlight brush. I don't know why. I just... It goes on so much more pigmented and I like it a lot better. Then I put it on the tip of my nose, on my chin a little bit. I'm careful with my forehead just because I don't really like a shiny forehead, but I kind of put it on a diagonal so that the illusion is there. And I really like that. Next I'm going to go in with my blush and honestly with the blush I just use whatever I can find. So I have this, it's called Beach Please Blush, Be a Bombshell Cosmetics. Um, I kind of like this. It's just very, very pink, so you have to like dip it in and then put it on your hand and then you bring it onto your uh, cheeks. But I do like it. It's just very pink is all. Okay, from there now I'm going to go on to lips. For lips, I use this Stark Naked. It's an Urban Decay lip liner that I really, really like. It's just a nude and I love, love, love it. So I'm going to put that on. Okay, then I'm going to use the product that I have been like obsessed with lately and it's this Buxom, and I love this. It's in the shade Marrakech or something like that, and it's like nude, and oh my gosh, it is just so pretty, and it's like minty, so it refreshes your lips too. Oh my gosh, do not even get me started. 
I love this stuff and I love it with the Stark Naked lip liner. So that is the end of my look. I hope that you really like this makeup look. Let me know if you guys really like it in the comments below and if you try it, tell me. I just really, really like this. I really liked the eyeshadow, so I had to show you guys and do like a little mini video, even though it's probably gonna be a super long video because it's a get ready with me. But yeah, so I have that job interview very, very soon. Wish me luck. I will keep you guys updated. And yeah. Okay, I love you so much. Bye.